Hey guys, Cyber CDH here, hope you're doing really well. So you may have seen in the tech news today that SANS, who are a leading information security training provider, suffered a hack uh, which resulted in some personal data being exposed. And I wanted to talk to you today about five key things that you can do within your organization to help defend this kind of attack going forward. Uh, and also share some simple ideas that you can implement uh, in your own environment uh, that hopefully can help you in this situation. First though, let's take a look at what SANS had to say. So they say, on August 6th, as part of a systematic review of email configuration and rules, we identified suspicious forwarding rule and initiated our incident response process. This rule was found to have forwarded a number of emails from a specific individual's email account to an unknown email address. The forwarded emails included files, that contained some subset of email, first name, last name, work title, company name, industry, address, and country of residence. SANS quickly stopped any further release of information from the account. And as a result of this incident, 513 emails were forwarded to an unknown external email address. Most of these emails were harmless, uh, but some of these emails contained files uh, with personally identifiable information. PII. So as a result, approximately 28,000 records of PII were forwarded to an unknown external email address. So in a nutshell, it sounds like someone got fished, right? A bad guy harvested credentials, logged in, created an email forwarding rule, and therefore received a bunch of emails that they shouldn't have had access to. Uh, unfortunately enough, nothing too sensitive was stolen, like payment data, etc. So number one, Let's talk about the fact that the phishing email got through in the first place. There are tons of tools out there to help protect against phishing emails being delivered. Uh, and personally, I've had great experience with Microsoft Office 365, uh, and in particular with ATP safe links and safe attachments. If you don't have 365 license, you can definitely do stuff in a traditional Microsoft Exchange platform to help weed out suspicious senders subject patterns and emails also which contain particular content. So I definitely recommend paying attention to that part of the process uh, and also ensuring that your users have an effective way of reporting suspicious emails to you so you can further investigate. Point two, users are not a security control. Um, as much as you should Im implement a mechanism for users to report emails, don't rely on your end users to spot something uh, suspicious adversaries in this day and age are very creative. It's easy to trick people into clicking links, opening attachments, etc. And at the end of the day, we're all only human after all. So it seems that there was no detection here uh, from a login from another location. Uh, and I definitely recommend then looking at geographic IP blocking to restrict login access from risky countries and also monitor and potentially block impossible travel, um, which is obviously logging in from two locations within a very short space of time. Number three, be proactive and not reactive. SANS found the issue here through a regular check of their email configuration. And that sounds like a manual process that maybe gets conducted every, every now and again. So for me, a better way would be to implement a rule or an alert to either block or at least alert on any forwarding rule that gets implemented in the environment. Um, and every single one of those that's to an external source needs to be fully investigated and prevented. Uh, and all of that can be automated in Office 365. Setting up an email forwarding rule is a fundamental indicator of compromise that you should be looking out for. So be proactive with your hunting. Don't wait for stuff like this to happen before you actually find it. Number four, web content filtering is really important. And it sounds like here that the victim in SANS clicked the link, entered credentials into a phishing website, Web content filtering can definitely help here. If you use a corporate web proxy, the likelihood is your supplier has a solution that you can tap into to block sites that are uncategorized, personal sites, uh, newly registered or marked as suspicious, etc. Or even just you know a list of categories that you, that you don't allow. Users should not be able to connect to those sites. And again, uh, if you don't have a proxy, Microsoft has a built-in tool to help you. And also consider doing that at the DNS layer as well. Point five, communicate your breaches. In this case, if I'm honest, I felt the comms from SANS were really good. Um, I felt they were detailed, honest, uh, and I guess the whole issue was probably really embarrassing for them, given the fact that they are world leaders in information security training. 
Therefore, being upfront and open and honest with the world on the issue uh, is really, really paramount. Um, it looks like it took them about six days to report the issue to the media, uh, and I, I would say that's probably average. Um, perhaps anything more than a week would be pretty questionable, in my view. Uh, and the comms that they pushed out look pretty well prepared, uh, and that's something that no doubt that they potentially planned for. So I definitely recommend you do the same also. Uh, if you work in incident response, it would be a real good thing for you in the business to make friends with your corporate communications team and at least have a template uh, for this kind of communication ready to fire. In summary then, phishing is still an issue. Uh, basic forms of attack still work uh, and we should all be on guard for suspicious emails and we should all help each other uh, by sharing the tools, the tactics and the techniques we use to help solve this problem in our own organisations going forward. Thanks very much for watching the video. If you, if you like the content, please give it a big thumbs up uh, and also please subscribe uh, to get more videos like this one uh, into your notifications. Enjoy, keep well, speak soon.